Alright, how's it going? Uh, another quick update on the Skeleton export for CryBlend from Blender. Uh, for CryEngine from Blender. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm doing much better here. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bones here. Yay. Alright, now, uh, the way I'm going to do this is you're going to have two deals here, you know, post position, rest position. Uh, got to figure out how it's going to be set up because you're going to export the animations in the post position. Uh, it's going to go through your frames in the pose position and when you go to do your uh, initial default skeleton you're going to have to be in the rest position. Uh, anyway, uh, doing this uh, it, it apparently works fine in pose mode. Uh, you can be in pose mode or object mode. Uh, uh, it goes ahead and it, it switches it for you which is pretty awesome. Um, Go ahead and export, export that to game, and we'll look at our progress, no errors, didn't complain about anything other than the material, which of course I didn't set up. Alright, geometry entry, entity, testing, And there we go, it's in there, you can see it. Now, I don't know if you noticed or not, but that was upside down. One of the things I got to fix. I, I don't want to skin an object upside down. Don't like that. Not awesome. Um, another thing I've got to work out. We've got our bones here. Except uh, this should be one bone. Both of these heads here, bones should be at the tail of the other. Uh, but it's not rotating it around its origin, which is zero compared to the parent bone. But as you can see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bones uh, along with our cube. So uh, we're getting there. After I get this all worked out and figured out, then I can start tackling the animation. Um, like I said, I don't want to model this thing upside down. That's not awesome. Uh, which is what it is right here. The, the whole thing is upside down. I don't want to do that. I don't want to model correctly. I mean, Blender's got a Z-axis up. The, uh, the game here. Uh, digga, 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 digga. Bear with me a moment. The game's got Z axis up. All the axes are just about the same. I mean, you know, when you export the static mesh or the animated mesh or a vehicle, even, you don't have to do anything special. So, why in the heck should I have to do something special for the skeletal animation? Um, that's not awesome. And what it is, is it's the uh, math that's involved that actually does the uh, location rotation etc etc uh, can't use the Euler rotation because of gimbal lock uh, pardon me I'm probably saying it wrong but it's Quantirnon Quantir yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it but it's a 4x4 matrix showing uh, scale location rotation and uh, yeah if you look right here you can see Z is up Y is forward away and X is off to the right X is uh, Z is up, Y is away, and X is off to the right. So you know we we should be set up for that. But for whatever reason, the skeleton is exporting upside down. If I do it right side up, but that's it for now. Uh, as you can see, I am making progress on this. Uh, when I get done with this, um, once again, why you want to export a whole level from Blender is beyond me. Um, you really need to learn how to use that sandbox you know it's you really do uh, I can see maybe exporting an entire house with everything intact but an entire world is just that's insane if you want to do that it just makes sense to you know 
maybe use the Blender internal game engine. I mean, that's you, you really need to learn how to use the sandbox. That sandbox editor is a pretty powerful tool. Anyway, that's it for now. Hands out.